Standard form. We can use standard form to write very large numbers or very small numbers in a simpler format. So for example, if we take the number 23 million, we're going to write it in standard form by writing it as 2.3 multiplied by 10 to a particular power. To work out what that power is, I'm going to place the decimal point here, 2.3, and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, how many jumps it takes us to reach the end of the number. So in standard form, 23 million is 2.3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 7. When you're working in standard form, this number must always be between 1 and 10, but it can't be equal to 10. When we're dealing with smaller numbers, we do this. So the start of the number has to be between 1 and 10, but obviously not equal to 10. So we choose 4.21. We then place the imaginary decimal point there, 4.21, and count the jumps, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, until we reach the decimal point. This gives us the number 4.21, multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 6. Note the negative power because we're dealing with a smaller number. Sometimes you'll see a number that looks like it's in standard form but isn't actually in standard form. For example, 23 multiplied by 10 to the power 7. The 23 is bigger than 10 i.e. not between 1 and 10, so this number is not in standard form. What we're going to do is convert it to standard form. So instead of 23, we make this number 2.3, which means we've divided this number by 10. It's become 10 times smaller. So to ensure that the overall number remains exactly the same, we multiply this part by 10, giving us 10 to the power 8. So the final answer is 2.3 multiplied by 10 to the power 8. We are going to do a little bit of practice at converting numbers into standard form when they're not presented in standard form. But before we do that, it's important to make a note of how powers work. Here is a list of powers of 10. The largest power of 10 is 10 to the power 5, and the smallest value provided is 10 to the negative 5. It's important to note, as the powers become more positive, the number becomes larger. As the numbers become more negative, i.e. as the powers become more negative, the number becomes smaller. And this particular list is going to be useful to us as we look at some practice questions. Work through each of these examples. In each case, the values given are not in standard form and we have to convert them to make sure they are in standard form. So in the first example, 72 multiplied by 10 to the power of 14 Instead of 72, we make this 7.2. Now, as we've made the number 72 10 times smaller, we have to make the power of 10 10 times bigger, which means the answer is 7.2 multiplied by 10 to the power 15. Question number 2. 40 times 10 to the power of negative 6. Again, this number here, 40, is 10 times too big, so we need to divide it by 10, so it becomes 4.0. As a result, the other half of the number has to be multiplied by 10, which means we are increasing the power that's already there. So 10 to the minus 6 is going to increase by a factor of 10, which means its power is going to become more positive, which means it's going to become 10 to the power of negative 5. Question number 3. This time we have 0.84, which is below 1. We need to make this 8.4. Now to do that, we've multiplied by 10, which means the other part 
of the number has to be divided by 10, which means that 10 to the power 13 is being reduced by a power of 10 or being divided by 10, i.e. its power is going to become less positive, it's going to become 10 to the power 12. Question number four. We have 0 0.08, which we can't have. We have to make this 8.0, which means we've multiplied not just by 10, but by 100, which means that 10 to the power 12 has to be divided by 100, which is essentially dividing by 10 and dividing by 10 again, which means that the power here has to become 10 times smaller and 10 times smaller again, which means this will become 8.0 times 10 to the power 10. Question 5. 0.63 multiplied by 10 to the negative 12. We have to make 0.63 6.3 by multiplying by 10, which means that 10 to the negative 12, this has to be divided by 10, which means it's getting smaller, which means the power becomes more negative, which means we have 10 to the negative 12. 13. And finally, last question, we have 0 0.01, which has to become 1.0. So we've multiplied by 100. This means that we have to divide by 100 here, which means 10 to the negative 4 is going to become 10 times smaller and 10 times smaller again. Remember, as a number becomes smaller, the powers will become more negative, which means that this will be 1.0 times 10 to the power of minus 6. We're now going to look at calculations which involve numbers written in standard form. To start off with, we're going to look at non-calculator questions, although we will introduce the use of a calculator and standard form a little bit later on. And we're also going to focus on multiplication and division calculations to begin with, and then later on move on to addition and subtraction examples. Question 1. Simplify 2 multiplied by 3 times 10 to the power 7. So here we have a 2 and a 3, which we can multiply together straight away, and we then have 6 multiplied by 10 to the power 7, which is our final answer. Question 2. Simplify 2 times 10 to the 3 multiplied by 3 times 10 to the power 5. Now, what we're going to do is multiply these parts together. 2 multiplied by 3, that will give us a value of 6. We then need to make sure this is in standard form, so I'm times 10 to the power of. Now, the power of 10, we have 10 to the 3 multiplied by... 10 to the power 5, we add the indices giving us 10 to the power 8. We've essentially rewritten this calculation as 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 5 because multiplication is commutative, i.e. it can take place in any order. We then simplify the 2 times 3 to give us 6 and we simplify the 10 to the 3 multiplied by the 10 to the 5 to give us 10 to the power 8 and this is our final answer. Question 3. 4 times 10 to the 4 multiplied by 6 times 10 to the 5. We can do 4 multiplied by 6, which will give us 24. We're then going to do 10 to the 4 multiplied by 10 to the 5 which will give us 10 to the power 9, because we have to add the indices. Now, um, this answer is not in standard form, because 24 is, of course, greater than 1. So we're going to rewrite this as 2.4, which means, of course, like in the other examples, we've divided this number by 10, which means we need to multiply this number by 10, giving us 2.4 multiplied by 10 to the power 10 as our final answer. Question 4. We need to do 5 multiplied by 10 to the negative 7 multiplied by 3 times 10 to the negative 4. We're going to multiply 5 by 3. 
first of all, to give us 15. And we're then going to multiply 10 to the negative 7 by 10 to the negative 4, which gives us 10 to the negative 11, adding the indices together. Now again, this number is not in standard form, so instead of 15, we're going to write 1.5. And because we've divided 15 by 10, we have to multiply 10 to the negative 11 by 10. Now, that means we're doing this calculation. Adding the indices will give us 10 to the power of negative 10. Question 5. Notice that this is a division question. So we're going to start off by doing 8 divided by 2, which gives us 4. And we then have to do 10 to the power 6 divided by 10 to the power 9, which will give us 10 to the power minus 3. We've got to subtract the powers. Now, it, the answer is in standard form, so it should be 4 times 10 to the minus 3. Another way of seeing that is by doing 8 times 10 to the 6 over 2 times 10 to the 9. And you can see the 8 divided by 2 will give you a 4, and this part of the calculation will give you 10 to the minus 3. Question 6. 4 times 10 to the 12 divided by 2 times 10 to the 3. 4 divided by 2 is simply 2. 10 to the 12 divided by 10 to the 3, we need to make sure we subtract the indices, so we get 2 times 10 to the power of 9. Question 7. We have 6 divided by 12, which gives us 0 0.5. Then 10 to the 8 divided by 10 to the 5, which gives us times 10 to the power 3, subtracting our indices. Now, this answer is not in standard form, because 0 0.5 is not between 1 and 10. So we need to multiply this by 10 to make it 5, which means we need to divide this part by 10. Now, we're dividing, we're making the number smaller, so the powers become less positive. So 10 to the power 3 will become 10 squared. Question 8. 2 divided by 5, first of all, will give us 0 0.4. Then we have 10 to the minus 4 divided by 10 to the power 6. So make sure we subtract the indices. So we get times 10 to the power of minus 10. We need to multiply this side by 10, which will give us 4.0 times 10 to the power and here we need to divide by 10. We're dividing by 10, we're making the powers more negative, so this should become minus 11 in the power. 3 times 10 to the negative 2 divided by 5 times 10 to the negative 7. Last example, start with 3 divided by 5, which is 0 0.6, times 10 to the power, we have negative 2, minus minus 7. Remember it's a division which gives us a power overall of 5. Now again this answer is not in standard form. We have to multiply 0 0.6 by 10 to give us 6.0 which means we have to divide 5 by 10 giving us a power of 4. Now we're going to quickly look at adding and subtracting numbers that are in standard form with an example. So we have 2 times 10 to the 5 plus 3 times 10 to the 3. Now a crucial point here, because it's addition, we can't just add them together because we have different powers. We have 10 to the power 5 and 10 to the power 3. So one way to work around this is to write out the numbers in full. So 10 to the power 2 to the 2 times 10 to the power 5 
would be 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 3 times 10 to the 3 would be 1, 2, 3. Adding these numbers together, then gives us this answer, 203,000. We may have to give our answer in standard form itself, so of course this is going to be 2.03 times 10 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2.03 times 10 to the power of 5. And subtraction would work the same way. Simply by writing out the numbers in their ordinary format, you can then complete the calculation and then make sure you convert your answer to standard form.